the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always. Strangely enough, it has actually obtained a cult following in numerous areas of the world and also spawned the initial SUV from Infinity back in late 1996, following Acura's intro of the SLX and Lexus Larger LX. The Japanese automaker proceeded to create its own competitor in the midsize high-end SUV sector. Referred to as Infinity QX4, it was additionally available in Japan under the Nissan Terrano Regulus name with two V6 fuel engines and two inline-four turbo-diesel powertrains. For America, it made it through during model years 1997 to 2003. During that time, it was marketed as a high-end SUV with bespoke designing and an extra upscale interior contrasted to the Nissan Pathfinder. Sadly, its job was temporary because it was discontinued in 2003, and its setting was fulfilled by the new FX35-45 crossover SUV series. It was likewise succeeded by the larger QX56 in 2004. The full-size high-end SUV is now known as the QX80, and its Z63 third generation was previewed as the QX monograph idea in 2015 and introduced as a manufacturing model in March for the 2025 version year. At the very least from the front and back due to the fact that the Pixel Master overlaid the distinct facelift of the 2025 Infiniti QX80 in addition to the body of the present R53 generation of the Nissan Pathfinder, with the front getting the waterfall grille and the slim headlights while the rear loads the brand new full-width LED taillights. It's not bad if you think of it. However, there is one significant trouble. The Infiniti lineup already includes an equivalent for the $36,650 Nissan Pathfinder, and it's called Infiniti QX60, starts from $49,650. Well, no worries. Nissan has huge prepare for the namesake brand name and the Infiniti Deluxe subsidiary. So that knows maybe they will revive a nameplate or two from the past. In fact, it would certainly be interesting to see a return of the Infiniti QX4 moniker on a specialized luxury off-road SUV. Maybe it would certainly can taking one-on-one -on -one the recently presented 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser, which simply returned with a fresh midsize lifestyle in mind. What do you believe?